This is what it looks like when it arrives. It's a giant friggin' box, I kid you not. And uh, I have a... Presently, I have a little bit of an injury, so... Um, they have the proper marking. And um, I'm going to go ahead and you... Supposedly, you just unzip it and it inflates and there you go. So, I'm going to move it to the, the bedroom and uh, we'll see what happens next. I've been working all day and I have an injury in my back so this is really a bad idea but I know a lot of people are curious so we're going to see if we can satisfy the curiosity. I'm going to remove the doggy stairs which I use for my cats and I'm going to open up some light And I'm pretty excited. So first things first, because as I told you guys, I had uh, some injuries and some back surgery. I'm going to try and be a little more gentle about this. So let's see if we can get a little more creative. All right. I'm feeling good about this. Hopefully it will work. Um, except for I forgot where I put my knife. That's not a knife. That's a knife. All right, well, oh, in the pocket. Um, they show using a, an actual like uh, box cutter. I'm going to go ahead and go with the multi-tool, curved edge so I don't hurt it. Like I said, I, I pop it open. You see, um, me fall down. <laughs> okay. Oh, she's gonna kill me. For so many reasons, my back is not supposed to bend right now. Alright, so you get these, which are kind of cool. It's, uh, simple unraveling instructions. And then the big surprise is when you cut the plastic at the end, it's supposed to rise. Then you get this part right here. Tough to needle. We're taking back sleep. Um, it looks like a story of some sort. Disruptive ideas. Uh, I attempted to be an entrepreneur a few times, so I can understand, and I've studied it, disruptive ideas can make you a lot of money. Because people are tired of what you see. Okay, you see people in here that are, well, better looking than me. And, um, give some dimensions and some prices, which I thought were interesting. This is, um, I guess, if you want to buy more. So I'm not sure why that's in there. Uh, support, coolness, and some of the benefits. Wake up better. And then a thank you. You know, a lot of products do this. They do a thank you at the end. And it's actually really appreciated because you just, you know, they're new. They're not tested. They're, or at least they're not as round as you'd like them to be. And it's kind of cool that they are willing to... Um, to give a thank you in there. I think that's actually a nice thing. Crikey, it's a big one. Alright. Let's see if my body mask can help me. Hey, it's sliding off pretty nice actually. Which is kind of cool. I thought it was going to slide out a lot harder, but this is, um, this is pretty nice. Alright, so, the box is gone, alright, alright, it's got like some sort of a uh, super saran wrap around it, so I guess we get that off, and uh, it kind of wants to unfold. Like. Yeah, they do. A lot of them do this now, especially with like memory foam and other things. I've encountered this before, where it's uh, oh, let's not get this here. We will do the thank you pack right there. All right. So they'll use they'll just wrap it and. Now, if you ever have to return this thing, I have no idea how that's going to go. There we go. We're finally 
finally getting to it. And I think it faces this way. You get more of the uh, Wonder Foam off. There we go. And then we flap it back this way. You know, it's a little more work than you think. And I'm not really sure which side is which. Oh, this is the bottom. Okay, so we need to flop it over. Yeah. There's some zippers, you can tell, and it's got this uh, very square shape. Also, the tag is on the bottom. And I, um, I think I just hurt myself pretty bad, actually. So right. Here's the mystery. It says queen. It looks like it could be a full, but I won't know until I cut it. You should use better scissors. Because it looks cooler. I can hear it in fighting. Whoa. All right, and then we're gonna go. I'm gonna cut this way, and this has got a rounded edge. And I kind of want to get in here and make sure I don't uh, cut the fabric itself. Oh, okay. So it's starting to look a little bit more like a queen. And there's the queen. Ah. The takeaways I got from this is one, have faith in their packaging. Two, if you have a back injury, be a lot mm. more careful. I thought I was clever with the hand truck, and I was, but you know, things like getting rid of the old one and the other bullshit, that takes a while. Anyways, a few of the takeaways are is these things look a lot smaller than they are when they expand. Don't use dull scissors, because they suck. And be careful of any back injuries. And if you're a small person trying to do this, it does slide out of the box fairly easily, but take your time. And you may even want to get rid of the futon before you um, expand this thing. But just sitting on it now, it is, my ass is feeling very comfy. It is, it is being hugged by the tough the needle. So, um, for, what I paid uh, six thirty six shipping out the door to my door, and with the other things we mentioned earlier, where they give you kind of a almost a fairy tale style manual with people that are probably better looking than, than the people that buy these things, um, it is still appreciated with the thanks at the end. Um, all of this feels very recyclable, and of course, if you are just like a mega nerd, you'll probably want these stickers, I guess. Um, or if you have stock in the company, you know, however that goes. Anyways, I hope that helps. Um, I'm looking forward to some good nights of rest. And uh, if you have any questions, go ahead and uh, shoot them my way.